I can see myself. I don't have a forehead any longer. I'm just a set of lips. That looks about right. Has your hair been treated? Yeah, treated for what? Uh, taking the curl out. No. Okay, so you just blow your curl out and then flat iron it? Yes. Okay. So there's no keratin process, no, no, no straightening process. Yeah, relaxers. Yeah. I love the fact that you call those relaxers. That's not what they are, but it's okay. It does relax the hair by death, but it's okay. There's bound to be better ways. Okay. Basically, a wash and a set to this degree. Yes. Well, this is Tracy here, back with another video. Uh, today I'm going to get my hair shampoo set, washed up before. My hair is pretty oily. We're going to go ahead and shampoo your hair and do a deep conditioner and blow dry you out and flat iron your hair. in a very simple way that should get you where you want to go without a struggle. You ready? Yes. So what we have to work with is a lot of very thick hair, very spongy, very strong. It'll probably tangle, but it also has a really unique pattern to where when we flat iron it, it should show a shattered look on her ends. Now Trent's getting ready to shampoo my hair, guys. So I'm going to guide you back in. Hold where you are. Come backwards, come back, come back, come back. Excuse, there you go. Perfect. So when I'm working with someone's head, but you know that you don't have to move unless I mention it. Mm -hmm. I will be pushing against you just to prevent the water from getting into your ears or anything like that. Okay. So don't take that as me trying to move your direction. Okay. I verbalize all of that. So just out of my curiosity, your curl doesn't carry it all the way down. What happened? Mm. Have you had any chemical processes done for that? Yes, it's been like four or five years since I had it though. Oh, holy. Did your hair grow slowly? Yes. Of course, the other alternative is a 450 degree uh, flat iron can have a tendency to make the hair lose its curl. Mm -hmm. This does not look like four and a half years of growth, even if you are slow growing. It just does not appear to be the pattern that I would expect. So we have oil in the hair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Castor oil. Pretty good tasting stuff. <laughs> the 20 million people who would tell you no. <laughs> We're going to do a second wash. I'm about to straighten my hair and blow dry it. Well, first we're going to blow dry it and then we're going to flat straighten iron. flat iron. So. Everything has a beginning. That's the funny thing about a circle, you know, it has a beginning and it has an end. If you can keep up with that last dot. <laughs> Your hair is tangling nicely. 
I think I can safely say the Masani does work really well. That's so funny. Long, long time ago when Masani came out, because that was, that was about the time I started using it as well, um, I knew I had something good in my hands. To see it come back around <laughs> so many years later, it's really interesting, the changes. I swear I don't think I've ever had such a nice conditioner where you don't feel that your hair is conditioned. I mean, you don't feel like it's mm -hmm. coated with anything. Feel. You feel pretty, pretty raw. Yeah. But not like rough raw. Have you noticed? Mm-hmm. Because you know, when you got those little curls, some people think that's rough, but it's not rough. It's just where the curl touches you. Yeah. You know. It's actually really soft hair. And your mom's got really soft hair. Did my mom. Mm -hmm. I typically use Tresemme whenever I wash my hair. I think I'd fold that one out. Depends. Now, okay, so typically if you said, okay, I want to do something store-bought, right? I would say Tresemme. Mm -hmm. Use a sulfate-free, use a heavy moisturizer. But Tresemme, there's nothing wrong with Tresemme. It's not quite, say, a salon type thing ish. <laughs> mm. Hate to say this. <laughs> there are some salon products out there labeling themselves as salon products mm. that have the same thing that Tresemme has in it. Mm. Yeah. Face. So once you've got it detangled, you can do. the flatter side of the brush, this side, and just get right through it. So maybe before you put your hair in silk at night, you might want to brush through it with a dry one of these. And you know, when you, t when you feel this, touch that and move it around. Mm -hmm. Okay, so touch this and move it around. It doesn't. So paddle brush, this is what we use to get your hair straight. Mm -hmm. In your case, it's going to be a round brush. Um, based on what I've done with your mom, I usually use that because I get a better surface, I can grab real hard and pull without doing a lot of damage. But by going from underneath to above, it almost seems to wrap all the hair in, in, in uh, a congruency where it all feels similar. And that's really what you want. In the end, that's what you're shooting for because then you'll get similar results everywhere. You see, this really isn't that much work. The effort is in just actually doing the, the, the brush strokes. It's not really like we're struggling with uh, knots. And you would think, I don't know when your hair was washed last, but you would think with that kind of time we'd find more on there and we'd certainly find more on here. Mm -hmm. But you gotta admit, really? That's nothing. Not on the large amount of hair that you have. That's absolutely not. Okay, so let's put in a little bit of oil. I guess expensive or something, but I want to see what Mizani has. So I, I really think I should be sticking with them. You know, when I chose them in the past, and I gotta admit, Kenner smells good. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean anything. That just means they found a good fragrance. And coconut is always a good fragrance. <laughs> Seven up. Especially when you put the lime and the coconut, you shake it all up. You put the lime and the coconut, you shake it all up. <laughs> what? <laughs> See, your mom knows I'm a good ball. <laughs> <laughs>
Basically, you could bake a cake at that temperature. Mm -hmm. Did nothing. fairly strongly, so bear with me when I do that, all right? Okay. That way I can sometimes see that it makes it a little bit better uh, detangler for you. Because I, I, I worried about you and your hair, especially after this last one. I thought, what, what has changed? What have I done that changes? There's nothing on the back bar that's changed. Atmosphere, maybe the least, I don't know. But whatever it is, Something happened with your hair, and we went through a lot of detangling. Her hair is almost nothing, it's just a little bit, but that, that Mazzani played up to what it was. They're trying to sell me on the counter, too. I said, nah, I already did more of the counter. I'm teaching my child how to plant a tree, I said, yeah, I know, she has. <laughs> what? I even uh, made barricades up in the tree. The children didn't know it. But I used tree limbs, I just would stop at a certain place and let the tree limbs get thick to where they just didn't seem like they could make a pass through it. Mm -hmm. And of course that, that holds them back and you know, I don't want the parents to freak out because I mean, you, you could get 20 feet up in that tree rather easily. And I remember when I was on Got my little green man out, the Hulk. My shirt ripped off, and all of a sudden I pushed the dang thing up a hill. I had to weigh 700 pounds. But I got to the point where I needed to do something different. Gliding right through your hair. I, I, I'd be willing to bet you could even use a comb. The reason I say these are because most of my girls, when they wake up in the morning, there is a tangled mess either here or here. Uh, it could be on this side, but it's either here or here. And they have it from sleeping. Now that's got you in a good place. I don't know, you know I don't know those kind of yeah, things. Like